Gummy bears and breast implants. Tonight we're telling it like it is on this latest trend in cosmetic enhancement. Well, you could say that many women are jealous of Katy Perry's breasts, so much so that 300,000 women all across the United States each year go under the knife to get bigger up top. Now there is, of course, risk involved, but could a safer alternative be found inside your child's candy jar? CBS 5's Nicole Kreitz shows us there is a lot of buzz about new gummy bear implants. Boob jobs aren't as taboo. Now a more mainstream symbol of self-confidence and personal preference. More women are bursting at the seams to learn more about the new gummy bear implants. I have seen uh, some patients who come in specifically asking. For Dr. Robert Cohen was one of the first local surgeons to start using gummy bear implants at his Paradise Valley practice. He participated in the clinical trials before their FDA approval with the doctor who coined the term. There's no true gummy bear implant and the, you know, the Sandra will say, well, we don't really want to call it a gummy bear because it, it sort of uh, minimizes the, import, you know, the importance of the technology and the, the research that's gone into it. Mm -hmm. But uh, Dr. Grant Stevens, who I worked with during my fellowship, you know, he looked at these implants and so like, yeah, they really feel like a gummy bear and they're a little bit firmer feeling than some of the other implants. So uh, he started calling that and, and it really kind of caught on. Patients like the idea because it, it makes sense to them. You can see the comparison too when it comes to safety because the gummy bear implant is form solid, high strength, cohesive gel. It cuts open just like the candy. Peace of mind for patients worried about a possible tear or rupture. So you can cut the implant in half, hold it upside down, it won't spill out. Only one company, Cientra, is FDA approved to make these new implants. They just debuted at a trade show in New Orleans, the largest gathering of plastic surgeons in the world. It's pretty exciting news because for a long time we've had two different manufacturers and now we have a third one that's FDA approved. They come textured to cling better to muscle and keep from slipping out of pocket and in round or tear-shaped form and they only sell to board certified plastic surgeons. Breast implants are the most studied medical device in history which always surprises patients but because of the controversies in the early 90s huge amounts of studies were done to prove the safety of, of these implants and so it's just been one study after another leading up to where we are today. Dr. Cohen says the cost is comparable to any silicone implants. He's actually on his way to Stockholm, Sweden right now, where he was invited to work hand in breast, if you will, with some of the best surgeons in the world on new techniques for these new gummy bear implants. Nicole Kreitz, CBS 5 News.